tea. Yeah, it was tea. <laughs> <laughs> the Des Lords, what? Yeah, Des Lords. The The Lords. The These Lords. <laughs> French tea. <laughs> Famous French tea. <laughs> Toby, I was at the panel. I was the really embarrassing person on the microphone. He's like, You're You're the a most sweet. underrated actor. That was so, do you know what I'm so happy with? That all of these lot of greed. They were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were I was drinking a lot of wine. Yeah. <laughs> you were. Every time I looked over, you were just guzzling wine. I didn't wine. drink wine. I thought that was you being method because you drink a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it just a raging alcohol. No problem. It was great juice, wasn't it? It was real wine. Was it real wine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I drank. My, mine was grape juice. Maybe I am an alcoholic. And they try to <laughs> prevent me from becoming a bit full blown. I've just told all the press. <laughs> Liam Neeson to myself. Yeah. Are your tattoos on the show real or are they. These uh, tattoos. The ones on the show. <laughs> These are the ones on the show. Really? Yeah, okay, because I saw them. the ones on like the inside of the. Oh, those. Garage. Yeah, we added. We'd had uh, a guy named Mr. K. Add all these and these bits here, but those are real. Uh huh. Was there any uh? And these. No. <laughs> <laughs> was there any reason for that, like uh, specific artwork that means something? They desperately to wanted. For me, it is. Yeah, my father's from what was Rhodesia is now Zimbabwe, and when he left, he saw a great white shark, and he thought it was a car sinking in the bay. He was like, "Oh, it's a car!" And it was a great no white way. shark, just bobbing. We're always told they're like vicious, but it was just bobbing in the bay. Uh, the other one's Da Vinci's uh, wing, his design of the wing with his Latin written backwards, because he could draw and write simultaneously. Yeah. There's a Danish, there's a Dutch girl, Danish or Dutch, who's doing, have you seen it? She's doing both hands at the same time, it's amazing. What time? Tattoo? No, she's drawing oh. both hands at the same oh, right. time, but it's like photo real. Anyway, so those are the meanings for me, but then they wanted tattoos for the character, and so we added the other ones, and that's the, the food and the, the bee, the honey bee, and the baby, and the mother, and the... So yeah, Kay came up with some good ideas. Mm. What was the hardest thing to do on the show that was relative to food stuff? Like, because I saw you had to do like the caramel sponge sugar stuff, and I was like, super easy. Caramel really? sponge sugar, yeah. Sponge sugar is really easy. Um, working with Rupert was the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> we had the best time, honestly. It was my favorite person to work with, uh, and I've been sitting with Lauren, and Lauren obviously is tremendous, but she's a phenomenal actress, and I was like, I don't know. Compete all the time. She's too good. But with <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we had a great time. Yeah. It was so good. There's so much tension in the yeah. series, and I feel like Julian comes in and kind of breaks up totally. that tension. How do you feel about that with the character? Because I feel like he is kind of not not the comic relief, but like he but does he, mm. like have those yeah. one liners. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. He is a very kind of different energy. I think comes yeah. into the house. He's very brash. He comes from the financial district, so he's he, he thinks money can kind of solve a lot of problems, yeah. and he has he's developed all these different methods of kind of manipulating people, and he's one of these guys that always is like two steps ahead, and kind of knows <laughs> knows what to do. He always has a plan, um, and yeah, he's your only kind of confidant in this. He is, and he understands the situation I'm going through, but is a real person. You know what I mean? And that's how ludicrous it is that this financial kind of brash dude who's is the real person in the whole thing, whereas everything else is depicted as the like the crazy people, you know. Um, but he absolutely is that, and it was like imagine having that as your brother-in-law for real. Like what? <laughs> yeah. It'd be so good. So yeah, and he plays it fantastically, and it just uh, yeah. Well, Brilliant obviously character. it's a thriller, but there are some um, subtle comedy between you two. So mm -hmm. what's one of your favorite moments together? Scene. Uh, yeah, we. We, I mean, I enjoyed Rupert's company so much that I, I was laughing all the time, just as a human being, and you know, just hanging out. But scenes-wise, it's like been overthrown by how much joy we had. What was, yeah, it was we had a lot, of, a lot of kind of clandestine kind of. We did. I enjoyed our stuff in the basement. Yeah, yeah. the basement. That was yeah. the best stuff. The, wine cellar, yeah, the best good. stuff. I think <laughs> that because it was all one shot as well, so we were allowed to just run it through. So it was a lot of like single shots. So it was a lot like doing a play. So it had that feeling and it just allowed us then to like breathe out and be kind of greedy mm. with our time. A lot of scenes as well with like FaceTime where yeah. I'd be in kind of yeah. a room. We actually did that for real, didn't we? I we actually did, called yeah. you from like yeah. the green room. He <laughs> was off. <laughs> I called him in. Yeah. Poor dude. I was like, all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Poor dude. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's I hard work. So I gotta ask first, did you guys actually try the lobster ice cream? Yes. Was it good? Yeah, was it? Was that what I had? You no, did. We, we, <laughs> made, you, we made you strawberry. Uh, no, so what we did was we made, so me and Drew DeTomo, who is a phenomenal cook and was kind of my partner in crime when it came to all of that, we would always take Tony's recipe which, by the way, was never a recipe, was just like, are they eating this? And it's like, how do we make that? So we would spend all this time trying to figure out exactly what could go into it. And then, Nell's a vegan. So we'd have to figure out how to make everything a vegan version. Um, so what you ate, what you refused to eat, was actually delicious vegan strawberry ice cream made with oat milk. Um, so Drew's phenomenal. His, his missus is a incredible pastry chef, mm -hmm. so you know whenever he was stuck, he would just ask, and uh, we just had such a good time figuring it all out. But yeah, we made a lobster ice cream, and it's like eating a dead guy. It's <laughs> horrific. <laughs> it is truly <laughs> horrific. There's no purpose to it, um, so don't make it at home. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, we made it, and it it's just pungent. Like we made a real haggis, and. It, Everyone complained. Because like, yeah, it stinks in here. And, uh, you know, not disrespecting haggis, but if you do it in a confined space, it's a lot of odour to try and get rid of. Um, so we ended up just making huge sausage with kind of oat mm -hmm. involved in it to try and give it that feel. But, yeah. Speaking of um, dead man ice cream, yeah. <laughs> you do, like, a lot My of, like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you have a lot of really gross scenes where you're, yes. like clean up vomit and right. just did anything really gross you out too much all of it <laughs> the vomit was particularly awful because it was freezing cold and filling for some reason i had to be wearing like espadrilles and okay. shorts i was like why am i in these summer clothes in this bolt but that's you know acting they say it in this is the end don't they you've got to pretend it's hot when it's cold <laughs> our life's so hard um but yeah it was made it was oatmeal with a little egg in it or something to give it more strands or strings. It, it, it doesn't matter what the actual product is, it's, it's just the mammalian reflex of like reaching into like a gooey mass with tissue where your finger goes through it. So yeah, it was all not, it's not really gross, is it? No. It was all easy. But it was pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rupert, did you set out to make your character funny, or do you feel like you were more so following the script? Because you had the line, um, the crazy bereaved white woman snatched a baby, and I had to stop because I was laughing so hard that I was just like, so what did he just say? It's so, yeah, he does have a way with words, Julian. Um, yeah, no, I think it's, it's, it's the script. That's all kind of credit to, to Tony. He's, it was such a clear voice that that character had that it was very easy to kind of jump into his skin. And uh, yeah, there's some good, there's some good lines. His timing's brilliant, though. You know, which is the performance <laughs> part of it. You know, timing is just every time, and it's hard because we'll do 15 takes. Because as I said, it's a continuous shot, but his timing is just spot. So it's hard not to crack up <laughs> every day. He'd like have lines, and he's just looking at me. I'm like, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at me like that. You know. Yeah, we just struggle with eye contact a little bit. Don't we? A lot, dude. Yeah, yeah. but it's good. That's the joy, because it's a stressful story to tell. So, it's a heavy story. I mean, I feel like every episode left us on the edge of our seats until, you know, we finally right. binged all of it. Now <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want yeah. more, and I have to wait a long time. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, if it if it does go into multiple seasons, do you think we're going to peel back some more of, like, the family history? Because I feel like there's a lot more going on with Julie and Dorothy, and I would like to see how right. Dorothy mm. and Sean met and right. came together. Do you think it would start going into that? Those are things we talked about, and even things like who our parents are, who my mm. parents are. Are my parents alive as mm -hmm. their siblings and you know so there's a lot of scope I think what's so incredible about that house is I actually love being there I know when you watch it it starts to feel claustrophobic and Lauren would always say she wanted to get out of the house but I think that's how tremendous of an actress she is that you realize obviously as you've seen it all why she wants to get out of the house mm -hmm. and and hopefully you realize why Sean wants to stay in that house yeah. so for me it was, we're telling our own stories for me, I love being there. I need to be there. I want to be there. I want to make that house a home again. And so that's what's so nice about Julian coming over. It's the authenticity of it actually being entertaining a guest. Mm. And a guest who brings a bottle of wine and, and has some spurious story about why he's there and is there when you're fixing something or, you know, it's that. 
it's that kinship you hope to get with a brother-in-law that you hope to get with a brother mm. you know so that's what we we worked on is like and then so who is the family you know? yeah because you don't always say that a lot of times the in-laws do not get along you at don't. all yeah. it's yeah. just the complete opposite yeah. with you two <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, and a blessing. Mm-hmm. Blessing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A blessing. I actually loved how the show... Last question. Oh. Oh, okay. um, I actually love how the show was defined <laughs> into the Sorry. Philadelphia... No pressure. Um, yeah. <laughs> Spit um, it out. No, go Well, on. this is for um, Rupert. This is your first American horror, mm. right? So what was that like? Um, yeah, no. Enjoyable. It was... The, the accent is, a, is something I've not done before. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a funny one. There's a, it's a few words that do kind of trip you up. Um, aunt springs to mind. I couldn't make up my mind how to say that. Because you guys say it two different ways. Yes. Yeah. Aunt and aunt. And, 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 and it depends aunt. where you're from. Yeah. So me, I, I have to stay in it, and he has this beautiful ability yeah. to go out. So you're like, uh, you know, you try and st- do I need to call you your character's name? He's like, no, no, just rude. But like, I have to stay in it. <laughs> well, I did try that. I tried. We tried. It's, it's very hard to it's stay the in point. it. Do you remember how awkward it was? We had another actor come in who plays the detective, the, the mm. PI. And we were sitting, and he was like, where are you from? And I was like, Newark. Just because I'd been chatting with Rupert, I was just in my thing, and I had yeah. my accent. I was like, Newark. And he was like, oh, yeah, I hear it in your accent. But I had my American accent. But I'm actually from Newark in England. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 Newark, yeah. And then he was like, whereabouts? I was like, oh, ba- Boundary Road. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know it. I was like, this is such a fluke. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> giving all the right answers to a lie. I'd be a great spy. <laughs> But it is a struggle for us. Mm. It's, a, it's a struggle. Certain words are like... Mm. Your tongue gets mm. three times the size. You're like, I can't get that word out. So especially because he's an English writer, Yeah. there were some words I had to be like, I can't say that. It's too English. And I'm not saying you're not erudite as a people. I just can't be English, pretending to be American, and say this super English word. Yeah. You know. no, I'm from Philly. I think you guys nailed it Thank pretty good. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just did Drew DeTomo, who's from Philly. I was yeah. like, I'm Drew. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Talked with him the whole yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 